Okimo Brummel wanted for abduction. The police say they are investigating a matter where it was reported by a 31-year-old operations supervisor attached to Aurora Gold Mining A. That on October 10, 2024 at about 12.30 HRS, he was held against his will at the Gifflin Mall compound by three identifiable males who took him to his home at Providence, East Bank Demerar, and he handed over $9,500,000 to the men. The victim was unharmed and the men made good their escape. Surveillance video of man being abducted in back parking lot of Gifflin Mall by three men who identified themselves as police officers. The man was handcuffed and taken to his hole where he was forced to hand over a sum of cash belonging to his family's business. He said the following day the same three men appeared at his home, but this time in an official blue and white police car, demanding more money. A supervisor at a gold mining company, whose family also operates a sand trucking business, is grateful for life, but is hoping for justice after he was abducted and robbed. The victim, Kevin Fiku, who is originally from Linden but lives in Providence, told investigators that he was taking his vehicle to wash at the Gifflin Mallback parking lot on the 10th of October when three men approached him and identified themselves as police officers attached to the Special Organized Crime Unit. The man said after he initially refused their request to get out of his vehicle after they failed to identify themselves, the men then forced him out of the vehicle and handcuffed him. He said two of the three men were armed with guns and they dumped him into the backseat of their gray Toyota Premio car and sped off from the Gifflin parking lot. Speaking to News Source this morning, Fiku said the men drove around town for a while before eventually pulling over at a parking lot and threatening him while demanding money. Fearing for his life, the man said he told the three men that he had money at home from his family business and they then forced him to give directions to the house in Providence. Fiku said he handed over $9.5 million in cash that was at the house for the sand truck business and the men later disconnected his surveillance camera recorded and left with it, promising that they would return the next day. The man said he was left confused and did not immediately report the incident to the police since he was concerned that the men really were from the police force. Fiku explained that he was left even more confused the following morning when the same three men turned up at his house, well-dressed and in a blue and white police car with sirens and police lights. He said the men demanded more money from him and also questioned him about other valuables before leaving the house. He said the following morning he visited the Providence Police Station and filed an official complaint. Police investigators visited his home and while the video recorder from his house was still missing, the investigators were able to get footage from nearby surveillance cameras which confirmed the man's story and also confirmed that the men returned to his house in a police car. The news understands that the police investigations have since confirmed that the car used in the man's abduction is registered to a police lance corporal. The Guyana Police Force has not issued any information about that Lance Corporal or the other details for the story. However, this morning, the police issued a wanted bulletin for 29-year-old Lukimo Eric Brummel, who has been identified as one of the three men who abducted Fiku from the parking lot of the Gifflin Mall. The wanted man's last known address has been given as Bel Air Springs in Georgetown.